What's up, people? So it's uh, been a while since I last talked in front of the camera like this. I would say about a month or so, but you know, when you're busy with life, when you're kind of grown up, it's kind of taking a toll on you and your time. Uh, a little about my life right now, I've been applying to jobs, I'm working on my current one, and also uh, taking a Japanese language course in Seattle. But you know, I've been here and there with posting videos on my YouTube channel, so if you guys haven't checked that out, I did post a video of myself going to Canada with my friend Aaron to visit uh, our friend Yasu and you know we went to go around places in Canada to eat uh, check out virtual reality at a place called Sandbox so that was pretty cool and also I did post a video of my little trip at uh, Tokyo Tower when I was visiting Japan in September and October so if you guys haven't checked that out I highly recommend doing so and speaking about videos Holy crap, my room tour video, 2.1 thousand views. So I know for a lot of people that may not be like a crazy amount of number, but for me, that's insane. Like over a thousand people, over 2,000 people watching that video and also supporting me. And uh, first off, I just want to thank all the new subscribers as well as old ones because 113, that's, and like I said, that's not a lot for a lot of people, but for me, that's just like, crazy to see how many people like support me and you know are willing to subscribe so I want to thank each and every one of you uh, I think my ideal ideal goal by the end of this year or you know would be about 500 subscribers but what would be crazy is 1000 subscribers so you know like I said hopefully I push more videos through get more people to you know know about me know about my channel and uh, what I do. And speaking about room tour video, I'm pretty sure by now you guys seen the stuff around my room, uh, stuff that's hanging, stuff on the shelves, especially the figurine case. Which I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like how this camera is right now. Uh, I think about the, I think my uh, way of recording videos gonna be kind of the setup instead of the camera facing the bed. So I think that's kind of cool. I hope, let me know what you guys think. But anyways. I have been going to anime conventions since 2013. My first one I went to was SoccerCon, so you gotta go to the big, you know, your local one first. But I've been collecting anime stuff since middle school time, and I, it wasn't until 2013 I kind of went full blown hard since that's when I ended up getting a job, uh, buying all, started collecting my anime merch. So, you know, I'm not gonna count 2020 yet because it's still like the beginning of the year. But over six years of just like going hard on just buying stuff that I like, uh, adding to my collection, you know, you realize there's so many stuff that you have and then there's stuff that you cherish. So in this video is going to be my top five anime uh, treasures. I, I don't know why I say anime treasures. I, I would say like mo most valuable uh, anime goods in my uh, collection. You know, all that stuff. I'll think about it in the title. So in this video, the only items I'm going to exclude from uh, being my most uh, valuable items in my collection is, of course, the figurines. Uh, figurines are already crazy expensive enough, and it it just be like an easy video to tell you guys like, oh, I, uh, my Ronko Kanzaki figure is my most one of my most valuable items because it's 180 dollars. It's like, which I think. Did I spend that much actually? But yeah, only figurines I'm going to be excluding from this video as you know my top five valuable items. So uh, let's begin. Number five in my list has to be my signed poster of Full Metal Panic Invincible Victory. So this poster is actually signed by the creator himself, Shoji Gato, with his signature right there. And over here is signed by the voice actor of Kaname, Satsushi uh, Sab. Satsuki Yukino. So, you know, I remember being introduced to this series back when I was in middle school. I watched uh, Fumafu with my the anime club, and I started to love the series. And it's funny too because I'll try to watch more of this, but I end up going to FOMO Panic because I, you know, when you're new to the anime uh, scene, you don't really know about like spin offs. And so, I was watching the main series, being confused on like, I remember this being funny, I remember it being this serious. And Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll didn't exist during that time. So, you know, the only way I was finding animes was either through Toonami, uh, Comcast when they had like 
episodes. It was like one of those uh, free episodes. It was weird. And uh, pirated sites. And don't don't go pirate sites. Uh, go support your uh, support the anime industry. Go Crunchyroll. But that time during my time, Crunchyroll didn't exist. So you know, this was my only means of finding a uh, Full Metal Panic series. But yeah, this has deep meaning in you know my time growing up especially in middle school and watching it and try to find the episode so yeah this is number five number four in my list is my album of overfly from haruna luna so get a good look so in here you got her autograph and right here you got the autograph of aoe so this kind of has sentimental value for me for the fact that I bought this during my first anime convention as I mentioned before, SoccerCon 2013. Or was it 13? Yeah, it was 13. It was 13. Because that was when the creator of Sword Art Online himself, Reki Kawahara, actually made his first appearance in the US. And also, it, it was such, it was probably by far one of the biggest years of SoccerCon like since. Because you got the creator of SAO coming for the first time, you got the voice actor Bryce Papenbrook, uh, and you also got the singers who did the opening and ending theme. So, of course, Harna, Luna, and Aoi, and they performed a concert at SoccerCon. So, you know, being my first concert, being my first anime convention, this has a lot of value for me just because it's one of those, this was one of the first things I bought at the conventions. And, you know, when you're I have to tell you, if you guys have not ever been to anime conventions or you know someone that hasn't been one to one, I would recommend bringing someone along with you because it will be a mind blowing experience for them. And it's funny too because um, one of my friends, Anthony, who I met at FanMe through my friend Tony, we brought him to his first anime convention, which was FanMe 2019, and he was mind blown. He was blown away with the fandom and like just the community itself and we brought them to Anime Expo 2020 or no 2019 as well and honestly I think my happiest moment was introducing him to like being one of the people to help him like not to help but you know show him how the community is and over overall he had an amazing time seeing his face smiling the entire time during the whole weekend was amazing so you know, this is kind of a reminder of my first time experiencing uh, going to anime convention. So, yeah, has to be number four on my list. All right, so number three in my most valuable anime collection. Uh, it's funny too because this is actually related to number four. And number three is my Sword Art Online wall scroll. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this and you guys saw the anime room tour video. But this has a lot of value to me just for the fact that, of course, I bought this during SoccerCon 2000, 2013, my first anime convention. But this wall scroll has been with me around the US. It also has been with me during the first anime expo that I attended back in 2014. So it's kind of nuts having this for such a long time. And if you guys can see, there's so many signatures from people that have been involved with uh, Sword Art Online. Right here, you guys can't see. This is signed by um, Yoshitsuga Matsuyoka, who did the voice actor Kirito for the Japanese one. You got right here, you got Reki Kawahara, who is the creator of Sword Art Online. But you got a lot of people that are involved, the illustrators, uh, character designers. I think the funniest one I have is right here. Because this is a first Bryce Pack book signature, and then right here is second one, which is the reason why it says times two. So I actually had him sign it twice, which is just funny for both of us. But yeah, this has a lot of sentimental value just for the fact that it's been with me almost the whole time, almost every convention. So it's kind of crazy. I think my end goal for this is to get everyone's signature. It's funny too because the only people I'm missing is mostly Asuna's which is like the most important person of both the Japanese and the English uh, actors on craft. But yeah, this has to be my number three spot for my anime collection. All right, so number two in my list, I have to say, um, this item itself is, you know, not the whole reason why I put this in number two, but it's the series itself that 
want me to put this item number two and this series has pushed me from becoming an anime you know, casual anime fan to a hardcore one who wants to like go to conventions uh, watch every anime collect stuff and you know meet other people that share the same interests and this is one of the ones that have gi given me a passion to you know want to pursue a career in the anime industry and you know and that is the melancholy of Harui Suzumaya so this is the ultimate edition which features season one as well as the other two spin-offs uh, it doesn't include the movie which sucks and you know you have to buy that separate which I have right here I love the movie the only funny thing about the ultimate uh, collection is it doesn't have season two which I kind of understand season two kind of wasn't that great but it did have an important part in the arc uh, yeah, or at least important parts in the series but yeah the ultimate collection it features well, the two spin-off of Neon Churan San there's no way I can pronounce this at all but this is a little cartoon spin-off of Haruhi Suzumaya I never actually watched this yet because like I don't know how I feel I mean <laughs> I, I, it's pretty cute I, I, I'll, I'll give him that but yeah oh this one I actually did watch a lot the disappearance of Nakato Yuki-chan so this one's a good one this was like a you know, alternative world of what happens if this, but this one's a good one to watch. And the main one that got me into it, and this one's pretty cool because this one's signed by the voice actor Haruhi Suzumaya herself, uh, Aya Hirano, who does the voice. And if you don't know her, she did the voice of uh, Lucy from Fairy Tale for, you know, everyone that must but know. And also, uh, what's her name? It starts with M. Misako? Misaki? From uh, Death Note. But, yeah, this series has been my driving force since, you know, growing up, or at least like my middle school, high school times. And it's funny too because this series was such a big influence in the anime, I would say the anime community since 2006, 2008. There's even a video online where everyone's doing the. Oh, that's the thing. Everyone doing the ending theme dance of Harui Suzumaya and there's a video uh, where they actually did that in Akihabara and you know everyone if you don't know about the series you have to at least know about the dance so anyways this series is my number two of my most valuable anime collection set all right you guys so it's time to show you my most valuable my most sentimental my most um i don't know what to say because i'm pretty sure you guys get kind of get the gist of this right but this is pretty much i would say the heart and soul of my anime collection i mean if there's a fire that happened I, I, this will appear be the first thing i grab you know from my anime collection but that is number one volume three of fully coolie so this is funny because this is before Funimation licensed the Fuku Kui series, so this is from uh, Production IG. So it's kind of like old school DVD. And if you guys can see clearly close, this one, this is a signature. This is the signature from Kazuya Surumaki, who is the director of Fuku Kui back in 2004. Or was it 2003? And if you see the silver lining right here, this is actually signed by the voice actor Haruka. Mayumi Shintani. So this is the Japanese uh, voice actor's autograph. And right here is signed by Kyrie Walgren, who is the English dub for, uh, actor for Haruka in the series. But yeah, this this has a lot of uh, sentimental value for me just for the fact that you know this was a series I watched in to on Toonami at like 12 or 1 and when I was little and you know I was blown away by the graphics, the color, the grain, it was just, even though it was only a 6 episode OVA, it was probably by far amazing how the story portrayed and the themes of each story uh, about life growing up and this is pretty much my passion, this is how like my push into like being introduced to anime, I mean technically Dragon Ball Z is but it wasn't until like I, this series pretty much taught me like themes, a lesson 
because Dragon Ball Z is just like punching fight and Gundam is just like literally cool max but this one has its story to tell you and you know that's why I've been paying attention a lot more to like oh this doesn't have to just be action but fantastic storytelling you know that's just for me people have their own different opinions but yeah just show you guys the inside it's pretty cool because this was during anime expo 2016 and i still have the ticket right here you guys want us to see that ah focus wow camera does not like to focus And there's a ticket right there, and this was this one's pretty cute too because look at this one. This was handed to people who uh, went to her booth, but you have to get a ticket, which is this, and she would hand you this, and you know this is really meaningful. This is no matter what, like I said, this has to be my number one in my anime collection that I own, and you know it means a lot to me, so. Yeah, number one on my list. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy my top five most valuable items from my anime collection. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, and usually I typically say comment below, but for this one, I do want you guys to comment below what your heart and soul uh, item is for your anime collection because, you know, I just showed you guys mine, which is the Fooly Cooly signed by director and voice actors. But I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say, like why this anime thing or why this item is the most valuable and the reasoning behind it because, you know, it would be really cool to see what you guys have to say and or you guys want to make a video and respond to this video, that would be amazing too because, you know, it's always, there's always a reason why you kind of got into anime, what drives your passion and, you know, I'm really curious to see all that from you guys but Anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Keep watching anime and uh, take care.